there the 28th of January and um, just, we're just on our way down to pick up uh, David Kerry and Matthew um, on his way to a hotel for a nice short holiday so join us for a three-day break to Reykjavik in Iceland we're going <laughs> You've got to get used to it, Kerry. There's oh, gonna... right, okay. <laughs> That's plenty, plenty, plenty of uh, camera action. <laughs> Are you just wanting a cup of tea or anything? No, I'm, I'm alright. Yeah, I'm, all right. I'm, I'm just right. gonna go for a quick. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna take some of the in Syria. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to, I have to, uh, I have to walk like this when I'm out in David's house. <laughs> Otherwise, you bang your head on all these beams. They are, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> well, Luton Airport. And you're knackered, aren't you? <laughs> well, it's a half empty blade. <laughs> oh, bro. Happy? Right, let's go find the uh, heart that well. Well, wow, some of it. Plenty of room. I need a taxi to get from there to <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice view to the uh, the church in the distance. Yeah. Don't get cheeky. <laughs> it says it's a cathedral, not a church. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well. yeah, there's a big one there as well. Oh, yeah, balcony. Okay, blimey. It's got internet. Yeah, it's got Wi Fi. Uh, I'll should give you those codes so in a moment. Yeah. What did he go for, Matthew? Went well, for the meat soup. Meat soup, oh, okay. I don't know what, they said it was lamb and beef, I think, didn't they? Yeah, they did say lamb and beef, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. First night, 101 Bistro. Some food, we're having a, uh, a burger to share with the wife. -er. And uh, Matthew and David are having a pizza to share. And a beer. And a beer. <laughs> so we're on the main street, Reykjavik, it's about 10 o'clock at night, we just had our meal. Uh, tomorrow we're going to head out and do the Golden Circle. In, so that's a few, uh, we'll see a few geezers. A few waterfalls, and hopefully the snow won't be too horrendous. That was that it'll uh, stop us. Although it's forecast for snow tomorrow, but we'll, uh, we're hoping it's not going to be too bad. Going to get up about nine o'clock. It's got a long day ahead. And wife is joining me. <laughs> so David, where is this place we're at? Thingvillea. And what is uh, special about this place? And which tonic tide took ten took tectonic plates? <laughs> which tectonic plates are we doing meet here? This is the American and the European tectonic plates. Okay. As you can see we've got blizzard conditions here. The other thing that happens when you come with trainers that aren't waterproof is they get drenched. <laughs> what do you think? I'll tell you what, Iceland living up to its name. These last uh, is today at least. Yeah. 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 Go for it. Yep. Yep. After you. Let's go. So this is the uh, this is the actual division between the uh, American and uh, European place. So you can see that on the left and right as we are walking down it now. Yeah. Silver tip once. I'm trying not to do it again. <laughs> Kerry's loving it. That area in the distance there 
see all the people walking up. Looks a bit like the summit of Everest nowadays. <laughs> where you get a yeah. queue of people a waiting to summit. You're not from. So why the fuck go to Everest when you can come to Iceland? Exactly. We're back on the road now and we're doing a slight detour this morning <laughs> because instead of heading from tectonic plates and thing of all near to Geyser, we're actually going on to Gulfos. And the reason for that is pizza. <laughs> Delicious. The second stop on the Golden Tour is the town called Giza, which in Icelandic means to gush. Um, and it's also where the English word Giza, spelt with an E, uh, comes from, which means a sprouting hot spring. So these, these um, Giza sprout send boiling steam about 50 to 100 metres up into the air quite regularly. There's a few of them here. The, the most famous one was called the Great Giza. Uh, which used to erupt regularly and, and, and shot you know, water and steam about 100 metres into the air. But that one's gone dormant now and very rarely erupts. But there is uh, another one um, called Strocker, which goes every few minutes. Not quite as high, about 40, 50 metres into the air. Uh, and we're going to go and see that now. <laughs> oh yeah. So this uh I'm just about to show you the original geezer in Giza, uh, which is now dormant and eruptions are very rare but occasional apparently. Uh, so yeah, this this is unlikely to go off. If it does go off on Maria, we're incredibly lucky. We'll see. And he goes, and he goes. It doesn't smell so much like rotten egg as fresh egg. <laughs> The third stop on our golden tour is Gulfoss Waterfall, which in Icelandic is Golden Falls. Uh, at its peak during the summer, it has about 141 cubic metres per second flowing over it. Um, but in the winter now, when it'll be partially frozen, it, it's about half that. There was talk some years ago about using it to, to create electricity, but that, uh, that never happened and now it's protected by the Icelandic government. Frozen, it's half frozen, half frozen. Yeah, what was that water on this edge from no. our side? No, it was down there and you just put, it came down there and then down here like this. Yeah. Boss. 
Thought we'd take a little uh, brief detour to Selfoss. It's quite nice. Are we going to head over over to this food court over here yeah. then? Yeah. yeah. Just stopped off at the food, food hall and have a look around. Many years ago, probably around a decade or so now actually, I used to play a game called EVE Online, which was made by a development company called CCP Games, which is a, an Icelandic company. Uh, I used to play this game with um, some people you may know, Geb, Johnny, uh, and Sloat. Uh, and we played it for many years, uh, we had our own clan and so forth. Uh, and the developers decided to create a monument in Reykjavik for the players of that game at that time uh, and I'm just approaching that uh, monument now uh, and I'm going to see if I can find the na our names on this monument um, but unfortunately it was covered in snow so I couldn't found it but yeah here is, here is the monument We are just approaching the uh, cathedral in Iceland, which you can see from pretty much wherever you are in the city. Uh, it was started in 1945 and finished in 1986. So we're just uh, visiting the church in uh, Reykjavik. And I, and I have to say, my first impressions are it's a bit plain. You know, look at as cathedrals go, uh, and I will show you. Nice meal with a wife at the end of the day. Checked out this restaurant. I think it might be Mission Star, which is uh, a novelty for me. Never been before, but I had a steak. And to be fair, it was a taste sensation. And my lobster was fantastic. So we're just in the car park underneath the Airbnb apartment that we uh, booked to complete a very, very short but very pleasant trip to Iceland with David, Kerry and Matthew. And we will see you on the next one.